Hi, my name is Michelle, and I know my videos aren't very popular, but hopefully this one gets really popular, because I hope people, we can become better flute players. And, well, today I'm going to show you how to do the correct embouchure. And it's really interesting, because, I mean, it might seem really embarrassing and odd, but I just got a new teacher just a little bit ago, too. It was only like three weeks ago, and I've had so much improvement. And it was pretty much just because of this embouchure. So, I'm going to try to teach the new embouchure to you guys. And I hope you guys have fun with it and use it in your future playing. Because it's like the best thing you could come across in your whole life for flute playing. So, you might want to try it out. Okay, so, my teacher, the, one of the first things she told me is that you can't be self-conscious or you can't be embarrassed of yourself from playing the flute. No matter what your umpture is, you can't be embarrassed. No matter what it is. See, I'm not embarrassed. <laughs> but anyway, um, so what she called um, step one is the total tote. And the reason of this is to get a frown. Because most people play their flutes like this with a smiley, I'm sure. And that does not sound good, I'll tell you. It sounds really airy and it sounds really bad and it sounds kind of amateurish. No offense to those people who use it, but I used to use it, so I know it sounds really bad. But first of all, let's go with the total toad, okay? So the total toad is pretty much your pouty face, and your pouty face is looks like this. Like, aw, I didn't get to play the flute correctly until now. Hmm. So... <laughs> Um, so that's pretty much what you have to do for your flute, okay? That's, so you just, I'll scoot up the camera real quick, and here, and I'll take my head joint, because that's what we're using here, and I'll show you. Okay, so you go total toad, right here, here's the flute, okay? And first of all, what you're going to do is you're going to want to line up your lip kind of to the edge of this. Um, to the edge of right here, um, and do, and you're supposed to cover about 50 to 60 percent of the tone hole. A little more than 50, most likely, is better. So you go toad toad, match it on. See, I'm covering a lot, and you're gonna want to frown while you play the flute. And I know it's it's really hard when you first start it's really really hard but you just gotta go with it so you kind of like because it takes more muscles to frown and literally you're just going like this all day which way is my mouth supposed to go and so you can't really tell which way your mouth is supposed to go so it's really hard and you just have to work on it like really try it and just like and the mirror is your best friend i'm telling you the mirror is your total friend you have to have a mirror in front of you to do this. If you don't, you can't do it. So I suggest getting a mirror if you don't have one or walking in front of a mirror. So, because you can't do this without a mirror. The mirror is your best friend for playing flute. That's what everybody says. And I believe it because it works for me. So, first of all, if you can. Like, even though if you can't do it or you can do it right now, still try um so first of all you're gonna want to do toad toad put it on go on still frown and try to make a noise aim your air really down and yes it might look like a smiley i'm sure but really it's not that smiley it's actually a frown now it might look like that from far away, but you can't really see this, but look.
and it gets really easy to control. You can go to high pitch really easy. And I, to get to the high pitch, just to give a little tip on it, move your jaw and your lips forward, and it makes it so much easier to get to higher pitches if you've been having trouble to get higher pitches or your air. And make sure you don't have a gaping hole in your mouth either when you're blowing down. Um, you know those really, really, really teeny, teeny, teeny straws that, that sometimes come in coffee? Um, my church has them, but I'm not sure if you guys know what they are, but they're so small. They're these tiny little straws and, um, that's how big your hole should be when you're blowing down. So, and it's really handy to use this. I totally suggest this embouchure and it helps with your playing so much. My videos before this, they didn't have those and I mean... I was pretty bad on the Star Spangled Banner um, one, but the um, Gavotte, my video before this, I didn't have it either. I was trying to work around the smiley embouchure to get a good tone, and I could get a pretty good tone, but it has to be centered right there, right center, center, or else I couldn't get a good anything. So, um, this new embouchure, the Total Toad... As my teacher always tells me what it's called. Um, she said that, well, I, she didn't say, but after she taught it to me and I learned it in like three days or so, after I worked on it for a really hard, really, really long time, I worked on this, I'm sure it took so much work in just three days, but I almost got it down. I mean, I don't have it perfectly yet, but you should, um, that's a pretty good example, what I just gave you, so, yeah, and, yeah, <laughs> sorry, I couldn't think of what I was gonna say, but anyway, when you are, when you work with the smiley embouchure, you're totally tense right here, and you can't taper easily, and tapering, as some people don't know, is when you get softer, and, I mean, really tapering is one of the major things in flute playing oh my gosh it's so important to have this and I know a lot of professionals they still have the smiley embouchure and it's not good but you want the French embouchure because the total tote is French yeah who doesn't want to be French yeah nobody <laughs> so um just use this embouchure I mean it centers your tone straight away once you learn how to do it and you can change pitches so much easier. And you might have a hard time at first, but it is worth it. It's worth it. Not this. This. Yeah. Don't you want that kind of sound? <laughs>